Barawa. Deputy Speaker, I rise to condemn the senseless violence perpetrated against um, Hindus in Bangladesh. Recent celebrations of the Hindu festival of Durga Puja have been overshadowed by the atrocities perpetrated by the violent extremists fuelled by social media misinformation. In recent days, there have been widespread reports of killings, sexual violence, arson against homes and businesses owned by Hindus and the desecration of temples. Human rights groups in Bangladesh have documented 3,600 attacks against Hindus in Bangladesh since 2013. Through the Bangladesh Hindu Buddhist Christian Unity Council says that the number could be much higher than that. The report found there had been 550 cases of vandalism and arson against Hindu homes, 440 against shops owned by Hindus and 1,670 against Hindu temples and places of worship. Community leaders have said the violence of last week has been the worst mob violence against Hindus in Bangladesh's history. I have spoken many times in this place about the persecution of minority faiths in countries around the world and the persecution of Hindus in Bangladesh is no different. It is important that all necessary state steps are taken to ensure that the perpetrators of this senseless violence in Bangladesh are brought to justice. I am pleased to see the Bangladesh government has denounced the violence. In a statement, they say Bangladesh unequivocally condemns the incidents and took serious note of the reactions from within and outside the Hindu community. Reports have shown that the Hindu community in Bangladesh, who make up approximately 10 per cent of the population, is shrinking as people flee violence. I call on the Bangladeshi government to take more action to protect its citizens now. Thank you.